Welcome back. Yet with another device that I love to use on my daily basis. Um, this is Samsung Galaxy um, Samsung Galaxy Book S. It is not the Intel version, but I just love the fact that it's really thin. Um, it has right here. It has the micro SD and SIM capability. So I get to use this again, like how I like my devices to be used, which is on the go with convenience, with the great battery. And this device has really good battery. Like this could last for hours and hours and hours. It has a touch display. It's a 1080 display generally. I prefer to go for much higher resolution, but this is a 13 inch display and 1080 does, you, you won't even notice any difference. So it has fingerprint scanner, but this video is about yet again, shadow. So everybody knows the limitation of the graphics uh, that are in this um, computer. It allows me to use some of the apps. This is the 32-bit system, uh, and it struggles with 64-bit 60, system, even though it has that um, the emulator that um, Apple, Apple, <laughs> the emulator that Windows has released, and it still struggles to run a lot of apps. Uh, so. While I could use basic things that are compatible with the system, it has the full-fledged um, Microsoft Store, and it allows me to use all those things that I want to use. Unfortunately, there's still a lot of limitation. But this tablet, this laptop itself, offers exactly what I want. Display, battery, sound, this computer has amazing sound. For as thin as it is, the sound is amazing. And LTE connectivity, which I have through T-Mobile. I pay 20 bucks for unlimited, not having to worry about um, reaching my limited things like that. So I could use it on the go. Um, I could watch my Netflix, um, the Hulu, and the Prime videos, and the rest of the services that I do get from going to the sites themselves but this video is about shadow um let me see let me show it to you let me close this so this is a way how i save money for example i got this laptop from swappa.com for a little over four hundred dollars versus then what samsung's selling it for a thousand dollars so i saved 600 bucks then I got myself a subscription through Shadow to be able to use the um, Windows 64, uh, Windows 10 64 bit on the go. And let me log in. There you go. And if you haven't watched my video about Shadow, which is the cloud service window, Windows Cloud Service, Windows 10. Like you see, did a little updating over there. So you click on this and it's gonna start, allow me to go. And, and it's, it's the beauty of it is this, like I was just using Shadow on the S21 Ultra and it's connected to GameSer remote control. As soon as it came on, I turned it on on um, the tablet, on the computer, it came, it turned off here. So you could only use it on one device at a time. Well, because you're paying for one account. So here you go. It opened up as a window. So you could use it like this. You could, you, you could run your apps here if you want on the main screen, or you could actually use it on, on the whole full screen so you'll have to maximize it and 
here are the settings again. They're very similar to how it looks on Mac. Let me darken it. So it's very similar how it looks on the Mac, where same thing, you know, it goes into the bitrate, the display, which we go into right now. So it has fit to screen. It's 12, 1920 by 1080 because this is a 1080 display and it is a 60 frames per second display, but you could always disable it. Like for example, this is not a 2K display, nor is it a 120 Hertz display. It's a 60 Hertz display. So I could go into two, for example, 2K display. Let's see how it's gonna look. It looks the same. It's not gonna act as a 2K display because it's not. So we go back here um, and we go to, if you click on this, it automatically goes into what the display needs to be. But I like the fact that it gives you an option to update all those things. Um, like it works like a regular window does. For those of you that do use Windows, you guys know how Windows operates. Um, you can make it super tiny if you want. This is 100 scaling. Um, I'm waiting for it to, okay, so it's 100, or you could just, I leave it at 170, okay, so this is, I just shut it down, because I clicked on the X button, but let's say if this happens to you, let me zoom out, you could just click on start again. There you go, exactly where you left off because you shut down the app. You didn't shut down the windows. So here you see this notification, it says lagging connection. It's, it, it, sometimes you get this, let's say if there's, um, if you're using Wi-Fi for example and a lot of people streaming off of your Wi-Fi or whatever happens, like if there's a drop for a little bit, it, you'll get this connection, like this notification, but it goes away. And the same thing over here, I don't have my um, gamer controller paired to this device, but you could, and you could same thing, open up your games over here. Um, like you have Stream, you have PlayStation, you have Xbox. I already have Mouth and Valheim here because this is the game that I play the most. But it's basically the same experience as you get on the iPad or it's the same experience that you get on the Mac, uh, but at least it offers you ability to buy this this computer because I wanted this. It, it's it's great. It gives me what I need, and battery lasts for a long time. Like at most, I've had my battery last um, I think about seventeen hours without needing it to charge. And I mean, I I'm pretty heavy user, so money well well spent in my opinion by i think it was 460 480 i paid for this and then so i saved about 600 520 dollars plus tax so let's say i saved about 600 dollars. so if you take 11.99 per month for shadow yearly it comes out to be let's say was it 12 dollars per month yearly comes out to be 144 dollars so 144 dollars plus $480, I'm looking at $622. I believe so, that's the correct math. So $622, and I'm able to use this Windows experience on this. I could use it on this. I could use it on my Note, uh, Note Ultra 20. Like, let's not forget, I also have the Tab S7 Plus. Let me open it. Like the Tab S7 Plus, which I'll record a video on too. And this is Galaxy, Samsung Galaxy Book S, not the Intel version. If you have any questions, you could post below. If you wanna see a video about um, this laptop review, I could also do that. Whatever the questions that you have and your requests, just post below. Thanks for watching.